Good evening. Hi, good evening. I'm Carrie Moss. I'm the Executive Director of the ACLU of Michigan, and I'm also a resident of Washtenaw County, and just want to thank you all so much for considering the resolution tonight and an appropriation to support immigrants in this community. I want to also urge you um, and ask that you support um, funding for the Michigan Immigrants' Rights Coalition. So again, I just want to thank you for supporting legal education and advocacy and for supporting our neighbors, our friends, our families, and immigrants. Thank you. Good evening. Hello. My name is Brant Funkhauser. I have practiced law in this county for um, almost 40 years and did a lot of work with low-income people. And <clears throat> what I learned from that is that collaboration works the best way, rather than one lawyer trying to cover everything someone needs. And I thank you for having this resolution. It is nicely drafted, um, I think, legal. Now, I believe there's a legal defense portion of that, and we're trying to decide where that should go. I would strongly urge you, as did Ms. Moss, to send that to the Michigan Immigration Rights Center because those people know the community, the entire community. <clears throat> and an individual attorney trying to do this may be able to do some of the legal work for someone, uh, maybe represent them in court, but the, the community services that are available, the people who are at Merck know who to call to get some other kind of help, what resources can be used to help these other people. So I would uh, strongly urge you, I thank you for having the resolution, I would strongly urge you to have that legal services money, uh, sixty dollars to $70,000, go to MIRC. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Bob Gillette. Uh, I'm a resident of the county and the director of the Michigan Advocacy Program, which you probably know is Legal Services of South Central Michigan, which is the general uh, a to Z legal aid program here, but we also administer six statewide programs, and one of those is the Michigan Immigrant Rights Center. Uh, and I just wanted to respond to a couple comments. Uh, you know, we're a high-volume legal aid program. That's what the Immigrant Rights Center is, and that means sixty, seventy-five thousand dollars gets a lawyer for a year. That means it gets one hundred and fifty cases or so. Uh, so it's a very efficient way to provide the services. Thank you, Mr. Jillian. Good evening. My name is Melanie Harner. I'm a, county of, I'm a resident of Washington County. I'm also a co-founder and part of the leadership of Washington Interfaith Coalition for Immigrant Rights, otherwise known around the county as Wicker. And we've been in existence for about nine years, and we've worked with those who are just looking for some legal help. Um, I want to say thank you. and. Just to piggyback on what a gentleman said earlier, I think collaboration is the best, um, the best way to move forward with these initiatives and how we're supposed to, or how you all could use the money. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Good, evening. Good evening. My name is Barbara Kessler. I'm a resident of Washtenaw County. I'm an attorney not currently practicing. I would like to echo what Bob Gillette said in terms of his reference to the efficiencies uh, that could be accomplished should the legal services dollars in the resolution go to the, uh, the uh, Michigan Immigrant Rights Center. I, uh, I, would, I would certainly ask you to consider amending the resolution. I would also like to deeply appreciate the work that went into this. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so proud uh, of the commissioners in this county for even considering this and for uh, it, it's it's very well thought out it's it goes very far uh, I think it's very important work so thank you very much and I would ask you to consider that amendment thank you thank you hello my name is Francine Alexander I live in Ann Arbor Michigan on the northwest side of town here and I've been here since the early 70s I want to um, thank Lori for her comments why haven't they taken legal action to get something done? And I want you to know because it's expensive 
to get that done. It's time consuming and it takes resources these people do not have access to. So these are neighbors of your children, of our children. They are our family members. And if they had the literally two and a half thousand dollars it costs to simply file papers, much less if you've hired a private attorney, two and a half thousand dollars in attorney fees, these are people that cannot look at, do not look at their lives and say, I have $5,000 to invest in that path. Organizations like the Michigan Immigrants' Rights Center can provide those services at a highly efficient manner that we were just talking about. I'm incredibly proud, Conan, other commissioners, for the time and effort put into this. Sheriff Clayton here and his early commitment to this work so I would ask that th this work get delayed in terms of a vote, that there's more conversation, particularly in terms of the non-solicitation clause of that law enforcement that Sheriff Clayton has brought forward. I would encourage you to look at the city language and the university language that I think protects what some of my neighbors are worried about us putting us at risk. I think there's some good protections that can occur. The other thing that um, I would ask is that we do take this forward for conversation and adjust and get more strategic as a board about the investment of those dollars for legal services or human service funds, barrier buster funds. Take a look at that with some subject matter experts. Invest in something really efficient and really sustainable. Thanks a lot for your work, you guys. This is great.